Good morning everybody. All right, we've got a bit of an odd one today. Now this vehicle is a oh, 20 something. It's a 4D56 uh, Mitsubishi Triton. Now what we've got going on with this is we've got a vehicle that is, well, supposedly running hot. It's had an engine swap um, with a good engine from an engine builder that we know and the motor's a good quality. Um, before it had the engine swap, it also had a new aftermarket radiator, water pump, thermostat, uh, and coolant temp sensors fitted. So a coolant temp sensor and a switch fitted to it. All of that was done before the swap, and then the new motor was swapped in. Um, what we found, or what we're looking at with this, right, is this vehicle running, driving, runs and drives fine, doesn't overheat, um, well, doesn't mechanically overheat, you know, no bubbling in the coolant tank, no steam, no smoke, no heat anywhere, anything like that. But what we've found, or what the customer's actually noticed, he's got a little OBD2 scanner, is that the coolant temp's sitting over 100 degrees on the road. Um, now, this apparently is an 85 degree thermostat. This car should be sitting between 85 and say 95 degrees on the road. It shouldn't be running hotter than that, but this is going up to 100, 102, 103 degrees. Um, now, first thing with this, because it's here for us to inspect the electrical side of it, is to check our wiring integrity, right? So just touching that, we can see we've got a good five volt ref and we do also have a good ground. I'll use the test light to show that just so we can put a little bit of load on it. There we go. So that light's a test light. So our five volt reference and our ground is good down to this coolant temp sensor, um, which is down there, that black one. What we've found, um, the sensor itself is reading fine. So it is, you know, basically changing resistance and dropping the voltage as it gets hot um, we've found a temperature reading of we'll just pull a photo all right so here's our meter readings now this is at 75 degrees celsius we're at 1.35 volts coming out of that coolant temp sensor with a 5 volt input um, and at where are we 97 degrees celsius we're at 0.87 so the sensor is reading um, but what i'm thinking is that the resistance across this sensor this aftermarket one may actually be wrong because the car does run and drive fine um, the other thing is when it says 97 degrees on the coolant temp sensor we checked our upper lower rad hoses um, i checked the coolant thermostat housing itself and they're only at 60 67 degrees so there's about a 20 to 25 degree difference between what the actual hoses and the system and everything are at and what it's reading. All right, so we've just started it back up. It's just getting hot again. We're at almost 80 degrees, and as you can see, we're 40, 50, 60 degrees max on that. Um, same with our lower rad hose, and if we get right down on the sensor face itself, sort of 50, 60 degrees you know, on the upper coolant hose. 60 degrees max so there's about a 20 degree difference between what is getting output uh, where are we going and what it's actually reading now if i go down this side uh, our lower rad hose down there same thing 45 50 that's on the thermostat housing so that's on our outlet so this is definitely an issue because we're at 80 degrees on here. Um, it shouldn't be that different, you know. A couple of degrees you don't mind, five, even sort of eight, ten degrees max, but 20, 25 degrees, that's way too much, you know. And the customer's been watching this on live data and he's thinking that this particular vehicle is running way too hot because it's hitting 120 degrees sometimes. Um, so I think that we've got a dodgy aftermarket coolant temp sensor. I want to get a, a genuine one in there. We're going to get one from Mitsubishi, um, retest and we'll sort of keep everyone updated. But I think that we've got a dodgy aftermarket sensor. You can see it is reading as the temperature is rising, the resistance across it obviously is changing, the voltage is dropping. Um, but yeah, I think that the sensor itself is no good. I reckon that the actual resistance across it is different. So we're going to try a genuine sensor and see because this 82 degrees is definitely incorrect. You know, even obviously we're measuring on the hose there, but even if there's a, a 10, 15 degree difference, it's not lining up. All right, and just to show you, we haven't just used that little uh, thermal gun, the little laser gun. This is with a thermal camera. Um, as you can see, when it's at 77 degrees Celsius on the hose, it was actually reading 100 degrees on live data. Um, and that goes across the board, 70 degrees on the inlet and the outlet, uh, 65 roughly. 
66 down there so this was reading 100 degrees when i got back from a test drive so we've definitely got like at least a 20 degree difference here so we're going to get a genuine sensor in there and see if that sorts it out